Hello everyone. So in today's problem, we'll use the concepts of probability to find the value of P, A or B. So let's analyze the given problem. We are given the probability of an event A, which is 0 0.36. We are given the probability of event B, which is 0 0.48. And events A and B are given as independent events. That means the probability of event A happening doesn't affect the probability of B. So that's what independent events mean, that uh, they don't affect each other's probability. And we have to find what is the probability that either A or B happens. So the first step to solve this problem is to use the rule of addition formula for probability. So I'll write it on the board. So as for this formula, so P A or B is equal to the probability of event A happening plus probability of event B happening minus the probability of A and B happening. So the left side stays the same. So the probability of event A is 0 0.36 plus the probability of event B is 0 0.48 minus now since these events are independent events, we can use another formula for independent events to calculate the probability that A and B happen together. So that formula is, so E, A and B. Now another thing that I have to clarify, I forgot to clarify is that when we write P, A, this inverted U, it means the same thing as P, A and B. Event has been described as A or B. So I'm using this English word and. So another way to write this is P, A inverted U, B. So they mean the same. So for independent events, the formula is that probability that A and B happen together is equal to probability of A times probability of B. So there is an important formula that you have to understand and memorize and this formula is only good for independent events. This is not good for dependent events. So now we can do this calculation. So PRA is 0 0.36 times uh, 0 0.48, 0 0.1728. So this is the probability for P, A and B. Now we can sub in this value in this rule of addition formula. So it goes to 0 0.1728. Now we just have to do this calculation in our calculator to get the final answer. So I get 0 0.6672. So this is the exact answer I got from the calculator. You can round it as per the problem instructions. So this should be the final answer for this problem. So I hope you'll find this video useful. Please share it, like it and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye.